I remember the day I was, I, I think I was a freshman in college, my sister was sophomore in high school, and my dad came and sat home and said, I want to talk to everybody. So we sat down at the dinner table and he said, I'm thinking of quitting the mine and going to work for Joe Zoline to build a ski area. And I can tell you, the silence at our dinner table was incredible. It was like, well, how's that going to work? We know this mine's going to be here forever. You know, which obviously didn't happen, but you know, I, that was quite the day in our lives when my dad said, we're going to work for the ski area. He was always, you know, the leader of let's go skiing, let's go skiing. So he was the natural choice of a local person to be involved in the ski area. Plus he knew the terrain better than anybody because when we were kids, we hiked all the terrain and skied it, and then when they invented snowmobiles, that was like heaven. Well, when Joe hired me in 1970, he uh, gave me the title of mountain manager, and I just we run snowcat tours for two years. We were the single worst ski resort in North America. <laughs> no transportation system, no bed base, no population base close to it, but God, we had a dream. When we launched our first lifts, there were less than 30 rooms in the entire Telluride area. There was the Sheridan, and then over here at the Tomboy called the Valley View. Who in the hell would launch a resort with 30, 32 pillows? And so we built lifts in the summer of, I believe it was 72, and opened in December of 72. That was probably the biggest thrill of my life. We didn't have to walk up the hill. Next year we put in five lifts, and in 75 we put in another lift, and then this boy came to town, Mr. Allred. 